What is your purpose and why is it so important to understand? In today's video, I want to help you with clarity, with inspiration, with energy. These three things are so important for you now and as you progress through your career. Now, I was very fortunate enough early on into my career to have somebody point out to me that there's a reason you're doing what you're doing, Mark. And ever since I actually started to spend some time really understanding what is my mission, my vision, what gives me purpose and meaning, that I started to develop this insane energy every single day. You see, there's no power in having a business that's an online coaching business or a personal training business. That's the service you provide. You're just doing your thing. Eventually, that leads to unfulfillment because you're just doing, like, even though it's your own business, it's just like a job. You're just doing it for some income. And I can see that so clearly in the content that coaches produce. I can see it so clearly when I speak to somebody when there's very little energy. You just have a job. If you want to make impact, if you want to earn more money, if you want to have a better life for yourself, if you want to help more people, then identifying with your purpose is the most important thing that you can do and get right. To help you understand your purpose, I'm going to delve into mine and how I actually started to find out essentially what I'm on planet Earth to do. What gives me meaning? What gives me drive? And I'm going to give you the stepping stones to then understanding yours. In fact, the reason I've created today's video is because only 24 hours ago, I was sitting with a coach who just said, you know, I'm earning more money. I've got more online clients. There's something wrong. And I said, that's the problem. You're looking for more clients and you're looking for more money. But you know what? The more clients you get, and I know this from my experience, the more clients you get, the more money you get, it doesn't bring true fulfillment. Now, the outcome of those things understandable. But I wake up with a different reason. I'm going to take you back to when I was younger. You see, your purpose in life is developing as you grow. And unless you see value in your journey, so many people go through phases of being bullied at school, phases of feeling very alone. Maybe you've been through phases of things that are pretty traumatic deep relationship splits, or anything that creates like an internal trauma. A lot of people just bury this. Until you can see the lessons and the blessings in your life, you're not actually going to use any of them as fuel to your future. What do I mean by this? Well, when I was at school, genuinely, I didn't do very well. I didn't pay attention. I didn't focus. I didn't learn a hell of a great deal. It wasn't until I left school and I was constantly this battle with myself to try and find who was I? Maybe you're watching this right now and you're going, I'm not 100% certain who I am. You owe it to yourself to find out because you will be treading water until you do. Your life will have no meaning until you do. And so I finished school and I didn't think I'd amount to anything. I genuinely didn't. Where am I trying to get to? Who am I? And that was the cause of most of my aggression, frustration. You may be feeling this right now. They were signs, they were feedback to me that you're unhappy, Mark. And then suddenly I started spending a lot more time on my body. Now, I'd been training since I was 15. Now, I didn't realize between 15 and 18 that the gym was bringing something to me that I didn't have in my life. Confidence. Happiness. I loved the gym. And I started to become more aware that maybe this thing, exercise, brings me happiness. And if I can bring happiness, then there's a little bit of a lesson there for me to stay the course, but I did, veered away from it, went to university to try and become a surveyor, 
again, unfulfilled, unhappy, with lacking direction. So there's loads of little telltale signs to me that I'm supposed to be doing something, but I didn't listen. And then I was at university and I said, Mark, you're happy in the gym. The sign's here. Quit, become a personal trainer. It doesn't matter as long as you're happy. And so the whole idea of me figuring out what I wanted, then through personal training, figuring out how to help other people to find out what they really wanted to then help them to get in better shape. I realized that all of this inability to find things out, all of this inability that I perceived at college, at school, at university, was me trying to find out who I was. And when I found out what I truly wanted, I realized that I then had a purpose to show other people in life that they can have whatever it is that they want so long as they focus and so long as they learn and so long as they apply themselves. And that became my mission because I'd found myself, I'd understood myself and in doing so found where I wanted to be. And in speaking to somebody yesterday, only 24 hours ago, I said, Talk to me about your life. Talk to me about your journey. You know, I will tell you this. My parents love them. My dad's passed away, but even still, both of them. If my dad was here today, he'd say, yeah, we did call you brainless. We did think that you weren't very intelligent and didn't apply yourself. And it was in the way that you manner mannerisms and carried yourself and what everybody said at school. Everybody thought that I wouldn't achieve stuff. And I'm telling you right now, part of my energy inside of me is, fuck you. I will. And that drives me. And so I have this guy inside me that people believed wouldn't necessarily amount to anything. There wasn't any evidence as a child I wouldn't amount to anything. And then I've empowered myself and I've learned doing something that I truly love and then give back to other people. That's my purpose is to show people that believe they're an underdog, is to show people that believe that they haven't got something, that when they dial into something that are inspired by, whatever you want is possible. And if I'm honest, my energy, of course, it's lifted right now because I'm getting closer to talking about the thing that inspires me the most. And so 24 hours ago, I was speaking to a coach who is in our scale program. And I said, you're not building an online coaching business. You're not building a large number of clients. You're fulfilling something and helping people with your purpose. And we identified that they too had a feeling that their family said they weren't very smart. They too had a phase of their life where people thought they wouldn't amount to anything. And they too were expected and perceived by their family to do something different in the world. And now that thing that they thought that they were supposed to do, they are now teaching that person how to have the area of their life that they're most missing, which is fitness. Why am I explaining about purpose? Because the coach that I now spoke to 24 hours ago has a completely different perspective on why they're waking up in the morning to help people fulfill an area of their life that is missing, but they can't yet see it. They believe that true fulfillment lies in just money. True fulfillment lies in just working hard every single day. But true fulfillment lies in fulfilling multiple areas of life. And one of them for a lot of people is health, exercise, wellness, and fitness. And when I realized that was a missing link for me, and then I realized that education was a missing link for me, it formulated my ability to help other people. That then formulates my purpose. So I'm waking up every morning, not just to help X amount of thousand coaches per year build a business and a brand. I'm helping people like you to unlock your true potential, to go on and achieve something that you never thought was possible. And that's my fuel. And so I encourage you and urge you to go into your journey so far, write a long list of what's gone on in your life so far, what you think was expected of you, what signs that you, there's been in your life that you haven't really acknowledged yet, Wow, that was a point where I found this. Wow, that was a time where I thought this happened. Wow, this is what people thought I should have been. But look what I've actually leaned into. Why am I doing this? And when you realize that, then you can start to formulate your own purpose, your own mission. 
So there is a blessing in your lessons. There's a blessing in your journey. There's a blessing in your perceived failures. And out of all of that comes your purpose. And until you start doing some deep work on it, and until you start until you start exploring it, just like I've done, just like I do with coaches, all the coaches in our coaching program, until you have meaning and direction and sense and clarity and certainty why you're getting up every single morning, it will just feel like Groundhog Day every single day. So I encourage you, look at the lessons, look at the blessings, look at the challenges, write them all down, look at the commonalities, look at the journey that you've been on so far, because it's very, very clear you're here for a reason, and that reason is your purpose. As always, if you found today helpful, please click like, please click subscribe. It's been a bit of a deeper one today but I've enjoyed it and I hope you got value from it too. Speak soon.